Earth Science. Hey Earth Science and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your December 11th love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgos. All right, your guys' first card out is the Five of Wands. Your second card out is the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, way too many. And your third card out is the Two of Wands, all in the upright. The person you are dealing with is the Queen of Pentacles, Temperance, and Judgment. Your guys' outcome. Is the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands in the reverse. The bottom of your deck is the Page of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Swords, and the King of Cups. Under that is the World, the Hermit, Wow, Strength, Death, and the Sun. That's a lot of major arcana, Earth signs. Wow. So you're in the process of finishing up um, things from your past, things you're trying to move on from, things you're trying to um, put behind you, heal from, and move forward. You are going through a major life transformation right now. Um, with the death card being under there, <coughs> excuse me, um, you are um, purging things out, getting rid of things and situations and people, feelings, anything you no longer um, need or want you are in the process of purging. Um, you have a lot of inner conflict. You have a lot of conflict within yourself on what direction to go, where to move. Um, and you also have a lot of outside voices um, trying to give you their opinion, trying to get you to do things that you want. they want you to do um, instead of what's best for you. Uh, in this card, you see the one person that is doesn't have a blindfold on and is just laughing. Um I feel there's somebody in your um, environment, in your energy space that is just kind of sitting there watching you struggle. Um, and it's, it's, uh, I'm getting, it's somebody in your family, um, could be a sibling or a close friend that you consider family, but, um, it's time to, to put those inner conflicts to rest. It's time to just do what you want. Follow your heart. Don't listen to all these outside voices that are trying to tell you what to do. Um, it's time to um, time to water your own garden. Time to plant your own seeds. Tr time to manifest what you want out of life. Because you are at a crossroads right now of what to do, where to go, which path to take. Um, do I go where everybody wants me to go or do I follow the my own path, make my own way? Um because you feel like you're tied to two different people. You feel like you're bound by this person and tied by this person. And you don't know which one to untie yourself from for some of you. For some of you, there isn't two people. You are just confused on what direction to go. You're looking for guidance um, in what direction. Just remember to keep watering your own garden. Water your own grass. Um, and follow the path that you feel you should take. Um, if you are a male earth sign, you could have a female earth sign and a female fire sign that you are dealing with. Um, the earth sign that you're dealing with is just tired. Uh, they are exhausted by the whole situation. They're grasping on for, um, their finances. If you are contemplating leaving an earth sign, um, if you are female, you are the one uh, if you're a female earth sign, you are just the one that is exhausted. Um, you're fearing uh, your finances. You're fearing leaving somebody due to your finances. You're worried about not having enough. Um, but you're going to be just fine. You're the queen. Uh, things are going to work out in the way that they are meant to. Um, but you've just been trying to nurture this relationship for so long. And it's just not working out for you female earth signs. Um, for 
whoever, whether you're male or female, you are, conf you are conflicted with a partner right now. There is a lot of battling between the two of you going on and it's just wearing you both out. If you are a male or sign dealing with a Sagittarius, um, you are, uh, this person is currently waiting for you, waiting for you to, um, quit fighting within yourself, waiting for you to figure it out. Um, waiting for you to get out of the space, uh, but they're healed. They're balanced. They are enjoying their life and, um, and they are waiting for you, waiting for, to hear from you for some of you. Um, let me get one more for this judgment. Why is judgment here? Yeah. Um, you are holding off making this, um, making this call between the two of two people with it being right under the two of wands. You're holding off moving forward with, um, who I see it you'll end up with is, um, for the majority of you, a fire sign, but you're holding off because you don't want to break anybody's heart. You know that by you leaving one and going with the other, you're going to break someone's heart as well as bring on sadness to yourself. You're, you're having to get rid of somebody you love because I do feel you love both these people, but you love them in different ways. If that makes sense. Like you're in love with one of them and you love the other. Uh, so it's really hard for you because you don't want to hurt anybody. Um, with the bottom of the deck, you, uh, a fire sign is waiting to hear from you or you are waiting to hear from a fire sign. They're wanting you to come forward and speak the truth and tell them how you feel. Tell them what is going on. What are you feeling? Do you love me? Do you, are you coming? Should I move on? What is the deal? Um, if you're connecting with a fire sign, watch their reading because uh, you showed up very prevalent in that one. But they want to hear from you. They want to hear the truth. Uh, there's secrets here. Um that you have been hiding from one or both of your people you, that you are dealing with. And, uh, and you're being called to come forward and speak the truth so that this whole situation can move forward. Your guys' outcome cards is the Queen of Cups. So, so you have the King and Queen here. Um, to me, that signifies twin flame or soulmate connection of any suit um, when they both come out in the reading together in the upright. So this person loves you just as much as you love them. There's unconditional love here. Um, they want to create with you. They want a family with you. They want it all. They want the, you know, they want everything, the family, the farm, the, the fun, everything. But they're waiting for you to get out of a commitment. They're waiting for you to leave somebody or to end this third party situation. And they're feeling at the moment unsuccessful because they love they love you so much, but they can't figure out why you're not moving forward to them. So they're feeling defeated by this. Um, even though you love them and want to be with them, you're not speaking your truth. But in this time of silence between the two of you, when you are watering your own garden, um, you're going to come out of this confusion, as are they. And I do see you reaching out to that fire sign, um, if not today, very, very soon. Or them to you if it's vice versa. Your guys' card is romantic feelings. So what you feel for this person that you... Bottom of your deck is separation. The person that you are currently separated from, you know how strongly your feelings are for them. Um, and their feelings are direct reflection of yours. Because I do feel this is a twin flame soulmate connection. Um, <clears throat> but it's time to... Bring them out of that confusion and, and offer them some clarity by opening up and expression, expressing your emotions as well as um, your bottom of the deck. Wheel of Fortune there. Awesome. Um, it's, it's time to move forward. Whether you stay with the person you are with or whether you reach out to that uh, other person, it's time for this stagnation to move forward. And I do feel that'll happen in the time of Sagittarius with the wheel there. So our signs, I hope you enjoyed your reading as always. I send you love, light and God bless.